Well, like all good things, eventually the fun must come to an end. And these Cecropia caterpillars are now in their fifth and last instar. The chonk factor is mind-boggling. As you can see, they are thicker than any of my fingers, and they are quite long as well. Their colors are now more muted and less flashy, and their bodies like balloons filled to the limit. One by one, they will start to purge excess fluid, and at that point, they will start to leave their plants wandering for the perfect spot to cocoon like this one. I don't handle my cecropia at all until this point. This is when they willingly want to walk all over you. So it is the one time I get to feel their little feet on my hands. You always have to be careful handling caterpillars as any chemicals on your hands could potentially be harmful. So washing up first is essential. I am moving this one into his own space to roam around and find a good cocooning spot so as not to be bothered by the others who are still eating. Some will roam all day until settling down and others are not quite so fussy. At any rate, as the night wore on, he chose this spot and began to weave. You can see the beginnings of fine silk to make the base for the cocoon. All this reaching around is connecting threads and designing his last masterpiece. And here the next morning, he is completely encased in his cocoon. The caterpillar you see below him is clearly jealous the best spot has been taken, but don't worry, he soon moved on. So thank you for coming on this months-long journey with me and enjoying these incredible creatures.